Well, hi guys, welcome back. You know, in today's video, I found a whole bunch of toys, including this Space Invaders. It's a plug and play game for your TV. And also this Pac-Man plug and play game. Well, I also found plenty more toys that I know you're gonna be interested in. Plus, I made some pretty good money on some of them. Okay, so I'll meet you inside. Let's get this video started. morning guys i think we're gonna have a lot of fun today you know why because i go to three different stores and i find a whole bunch of interesting stuff so you gotta hang around to the end but before we get started let me give you today's trivia question what is the name of america's oldest toy store and in what year did they open well i'll give you those answers later on in the video but for now we gotta get thrifting when i got to this store I decided to start my search on their back wall and then work my way towards the front. Well, I saw this DeWalt tool belt. They were asking $5 for it. And online they go for 20 to 25 So I have the first item of the day. Further down on the back wall, I saw this brass ram's head coat or hat rack. It had a lot of age to it. They were only asking $5 for it. I figured I could easily get 30, so I added this to the cart. I was walking down this aisle looking for something exciting to buy. Well, I didn't find anything exciting, but I did find these four fruit bowls. Now, they were $4 for a set. They were made by Pioneer Woman. I've been having good luck selling her stuff, so I figured I could get 15 to 20, and it went in the cart. On the very next aisle, I saw these two salt and pepper shakers. They were also by Pioneer Woman. They were only a dollar a piece. I don't know what I could get for them. Probably about 12. So I took them both. Well, that's about it for this store. But I know today's going to be a lot of fun because we have two more stores to go to. So just sit back and enjoy. I'll meet you guys out in the car. Okay, guys, we're just about ready to head to the second store today, but I wanted to tell you guys something. You know, as most of my viewers know, that I'm moving next week. Actually, I'm moving on Thursday. Well, right now I'm living in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I'm going to be moving up to North Central Florida. So one of my viewers wrote and said, you know, is it colder up in North Florida? I said, well, I don't know. But since I'm here tying up some loose ends before I move, I figured I'd check for myself. So here, let me roll down the window. Wow, it is freezing up here. I can't believe it. Let me get this window back up. Whoa, it's crazy cold. I didn't know that. A blizzard in Florida? Ooh, maybe I should rethink moving. Okay, well, I dress warmer. You guys head to the next door. I'll meet you there. When I got to the Salvation Army, I said, why not start my search on their toy aisle? Christmas is coming. Well, right away, I saw this Fletch and Oaf plush doll set. They were asking $8.99 for it. But when I looked them up, they're going for over $40. And the toy was being sold at FAO Schwartz, which gave it a little more value. So I took it. Well, those Fetch and O figures ended up selling for $48.95 plus $9.95 shipping. That even surprised me. So I made a really nice profit. And I almost passed on them because they were $8.99. But I'm glad I didn't. Okay, now back to the video. When I made my way over to this section, I noticed that Disney frozen candy dispenser. It was pretty cool. It was in nice shape. They were asking $3.99 for it on a 25% off day. So I figured it was worth $15. This row was full of knickknacks. It had a lot of stuff. But none of it was priced where I could make money. So I just had to head to another section. 
but it was an interesting row. When I turned around the corner, I saw this really pretty cookie jar. It was decorated with really pretty birds. Well, they were only asking $6.99 for it, so I wanted to find out who it was made by. So I put the top aside, but it turns out it wasn't made by anybody special. But you know what? It's so pretty that I'm still going to get it. It's mine. You know, from about 20 feet away, I saw this piece of carnival glass. It was really pretty. I liked it a lot. They were asking $7.99 for it, which wasn't a great price, but it was a good price. So I took this home with me. Oops, forgot the lid. Got to go back for that. I saw these bins. And inside them they had put purses and tote bags. But I wasn't interested in them. I was interested in this cigar box purse. It was $7.99. And do you know a company makes these? These are not just homemade. And they go for about $25. On this set of shelves I saw what they call nonsense plates. These are plates where they put a picture on them. And then they make a funny scientific name for them. Like this one was Mini Peeplia, Upside Downia. Kind of cute. They were $2.99. And remember, it's a discount day. This one was Fat Facia Stupenda. And these sell pretty well. I've sold them before. And they're not that cheap. Here's another one. This one is Shubudia Utilis. And so on and so on. Now, a set of five on a discount day at $2.99 each was a good price. So I took the whole set and put them in my cart. I've sold those nonsense plates before and I did pretty well with them. Well this time I ended up getting $39.95 plus $13.95 shipping. So I made a really nice profit on them. And if I see them out there again, I'm definitely going to pick them up. Okay, now back to the video. Well, I'm pretty happy with what we found at this store. But remember, we have one more store to go to. And we're going to find some pretty good stuff there. I know we are. Okay, I'll meet you out in the car. Okay, guys, we're going to be heading to the last store of the day. Now, before we go, again, I have one thing I want to tell you. You know, if you see anything in any of my videos that you're interested in buying, just click the eBay link below. You'll be taken to my store. Have a look around, and maybe you'll find something you're interested in. You might even find that you can buy a Team Gino koozie. Yes, they keep things very cold. Well, now that I'll be up in North Florida, I don't know if I'm going to need it. But if you guys are in a warmer climate and want to keep your drinks cold, they're at the eBay store too. Go take a look. Okay, I'll see you at the next store. When I got to the Salvation Army store, I walked right over to this toy table because I saw this Hello Kitty doll. They wanted $15.99 for it. I thought that was really too high and they were overpricing it. But online they go for 40 to 50 So I took a chance with her. I was walking past these bins when I saw these two plug and play TV games. Well, the first one was Space Invaders. They were asking $5.99 for it. Now I've sold these before and they go for around $20. The next one was Pac-Man. It was also $5.99. And it was in good shape too, so I ended up taking both. On this next set of shelves, I saw this Florida Panthers souvenir hockey puck. They were only asking $2.99 for it. I figured this is an easy $20. So this one in the cart. I walked right over to this Lucite wine bottle holder. It was $6.99. They were stackable shelves. You know, I sell Lucite a lot, and it's an easy sell for me. So anytime I see it, I pick it up. So this joined everything else in the cart. Well, that's about it for today, guys. 
Now it's time to go pay for this stuff, head out to the car, give you guys an answer to a trivia question, and then I'll be on my way. Okay, I'll meet you out there. Well, guys, that's about it. But I want to give you the answer to today's trivia question. The oldest toy store in America is FAO Schwartz. They opened up in 1862 in Baltimore, Maryland. Do you know that's during the Civil War? That's a long, long time ago. Well, in 1870, they moved to New York City, where they gained most of their fame, and they remained there until 2004 when they went bankrupt. A few companies have bought them out since. Even Toys R Us had bought them out at one time. Well, they ended up closing that store. But I hear that they're back in New York again. So that will be a lot of fun. It might even be on my bucket list to go see them. Oh, and a fun fact. Do you know in the movie Big when Tom Hanks is dancing on the piano? That's at FAO Schwartz. Well, they are pretty famous. Okay, well, that's it for today, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please share this video with a friend. Most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.